Hello everybody, it is Stinger Smash, and yes, do not just your viewing devices, it is uh, the return of Blu-ray Steelbook update, uh, something that I was very well known for quite a while ago. I uh, stopped doing them because I just lost a lot of passion for Steelbooks, um, and uh, that passion hasn't really come back. Uh, there is the odd one that I am interested in buying, so I've bought. So I've got a couple, uh, one that I got last week, one that I got just 10 minutes ago, that I thought I'd show. Um, but uh, yeah, it's funny because it seems every day now, Zabby is sending me uh, Steelbook pre-order uh, emails. It's almost daily. It's quite ridiculous. There's probably going to be 300, 350 Steelbooks every year now. It's just too much. Um, but there is still a select few that I will buy. Uh, films that I really, really love. Not, I'm not just going to get everything now. It's only films I really, really love. Big blockbusters, Marvel and Disney. Um, but there are a few, uh, you know, really good ones that I still want to get. So I'm just going to show two today. One came out, I think, last week, and one came out. Uh, one actually comes out on Monday, I think. Um, but it's here already. Uh, so first up is Avengers Assemble or Avengers 3D. Uh, yeah, they didn't change the title, unfortunately. It's still Avengers Assemble. They still have to do that. But this is the uh, Zabby exclusive uh, re-release. And it is, not only is it 3D, the original one was only 2D. Uh, but it also has this lovely lenticular um, cover. Lenticular magnet that comes off. And shows underneath a nice matte finish. With the title embossed. Um, and this was, I think, £25. Um and saw that very quickly and hasn't come back and I don't expect it to um, you know they didn't make too many of these and they sold out very fast now I do know that a lot of people ordered more than one and had their orders cancelled so yeah uh, maybe some will come back up but it does seem that Zabby are finally uh, cancelling anybody's orders that have ordered more than one of something um, this of course can be bad if you just wanted two to make sure you didn't get a damaged one um, I don't think they should cancel your order if you buy two, but certainly if you buy more than two, there's no need for that. Um, or if you were buying one for a friend, because they couldn't get to the, you know, the very small window when these come up. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so you've got to be careful. But at least it gives everyone else a chance to get it now. So the spine is different this time. It does have the little logo there rather than the uh, different characters down the spine. Back is pretty standard, but a nice... Uh, Avengers logo and then inside we have uh, the artwork here um, two very plain boring looking discs but you know, you've got uh, Black Widow uh, Hulk, Thor uh, Iron Man there's uh, Nick Fury Hawkeye and Captain America there's so all of the Avengers from the first film um, and of course this coincided with the release of the second film which last uh, say last night midnight a few hours ago um i did order the age of ultron steelbook which is going to be a 3d uh, exclusive uh from Zabby. um so that i believe went up about an hour ago because it's about it's, i think it's about 12 o'clock at the moment what time is it uh yeah it's just gone 12 o'clock so about an hour ago it went up for uh, release but last night it went up if you ordered it with the may z box uh the marvel I think it's called Marvelous Z Box. So I did that, I saved a couple of quid total, um, and got my order in right away. So very happy to get that ordered, nailed down, so that there's no worries. I only ordered one because I don't want there to be any um, problems with them cancelling the order. So anyway, that is Avengers Assemble. Uh, really lovely steel book, but as I say, if you didn't get it for the £25, you're going to struggle. Um, I actually sold my 3D Amaray for about 15 to cover a lot of the costs, and I still have the uh, 2D Steelbook, which I'm trying to sell on eBay, but I'm not having much luck. Um, may have to reduce the price a bit more, but uh, yeah, that'll cover the cost of that. Now, the second one I've got to show, I think this is out on Monday, uh, but it, it's already here, and that is The Mask, the Jim Carrey classic uh, 1994 comedy. Um, and yes, when I first got this, I thought, oh, God, it's scratched because there's a few weird sort of marks on it. You probably can't see it in the light, it's quite uh, dark in here, but. Um, it's just glue, so I'm just going to get it off kind of gently. This is a matte finish, but it does have the title uh, embossed around the side, around the edge, should I say. It's not embossed through it, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, it's a nice matte finish. 
Uh, this one was £15. Um, although I did use that 5% discount code, they don't use anymore. Uh, so it's like 14 24 uh, there's the spine, and as you'll see, it's now Warner Brothers. When this originally was released on Blu ray in the UK, it was through Entertainment and Video. And uh, for anyone who collects Blu rays, you'll know that Entertainment and Video don't really have the best reputation uh, for, you know, really anything. Uh, the picture quality can be kind of bad sometimes, and the artwork is always terrible. They, they, it's like Photoshop, they, they squash the DVD covers, I've gone through it before, uh, into sort of a Blu ray. Uh, style box because it's slightly different and it all looks terrible um, but they lost the uh, rights to the film the uh, release rights uh, a while ago which is why it went out of print and the blu-ray is very expensive and when this was announced I immediately sold my blu-ray on ebay my Amazon on ebay for 15 pounds so it, it, it you know after posting from fees it's only cost me three or four quid to upgrade to a steelbook so here's the back of the steelbook um, and uh, yeah it's uh, Jim Carrey with Cameron Diaz, who I'm not sure anyone's ever looked uh, better on screen than Cameron Diaz during that film. It was just something that, you know, he's never looked better, and yeah. So here's the disc, and as I say, it's slightly different because it's got the Warner Bros. logo on it, um, and I believe there's extra features on it, so hopefully it's a better quality picture. And there's uh, one of the classic scenes inside uh, when uh, the mask sees Cameron Diaz's character, and yes, the, uh, the heartbeat is chest. <laughs> the heartbeat is chesting. The chest is beating. Oh dear. I'm just th remembering the scene when she walks into the bank for the first time. So I'm a little bit off. But uh, anybody who remembers that original scene, uh, it certainly, I think, wore out my uh, VHS player uh, <laughs> and the tape a few times just seeing that opening scene. Um, yeah, never a greater entrance in any film, I don't think. But uh, yeah, so I love this film, and I think it's got a few extra special features, and hopefully the picture is better. Um, but a really lovely still book. Now this, I think they made two and a half thousand, and this also sold out very quickly. Um, I'm not sure if it'll come back, but uh, yeah, I think they picked a couple of good ones where they actually have uh, gone down in price. Because one of the reasons why I stopped collecting as well was subpar steel books, too many of them, and the prices were too high, and then they dropped down to really low levels. Um, so, you know, I picked up the odd one cheaper later on, but uh, with the mask and the Avengers, I knew they wouldn't drop because of, well, the Avengers did the Avengers, and the mask Blu ray was out of print, so uh, they both uh, worked out well. But yeah, if it does come back into stock, I would suggest picking it up. It's a great film, and I don't think they've released a, a regular Amory yet, but uh, if they have, it's probably not mu that much uh, cheaper than. Uh, you know, picking up the steelbook, so if you can get it, but uh, it's another nice uh, two and a half thousand limited from Warner Brothers. They've also done obviously like Beetlejuice and Mars Attacks um, and Vita Vendetta, although this one is different in that it's not glossy, it's matte, but still very nice. So that'll do for this video. Um, let's put them side by side. Uh, yeah, a couple of nice uh, steelbooks, as they a couple of rare ones for me, but uh, I still am picking the odd one up. Um, you know, but it's it really at the moment. It's if it's not Disney and it's not uh, Marvel, um, and it's not something that I just think yes, I've got to have that. And there's very few of those. Dread 3D might be one. Uh, American Psycho will be one. Uh, but there's very few that I like that now. So these videos won't be very often. But I just thought I'd do something because I haven't had a mystery box for a while, or um, haven't done any fun corn unboxings for a while. So just to give something to the channel. Um, anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll see you again very soon. Until next time, take care and bye for now.